LeBron James has been one of the best and most influential players in NBA history. In the 2018 offseason, LeBron was a free agent and teams were interested in him. Even though LeBron signed with the Lakers, he actually almost considered joining the Golden State Warriors. Yes, this is the untold story of LeBron almost considering joining the Golden State Warriors in the 2018 offseason. What's good YouTube? Today I'm back to the video and today I'm going to be talking about LeBron James and how he almost considered joining the Golden State Warriors. Let's get into it. LeBron James signed with the Lakers in the 2018 offseason. Even though he missed the playoffs the year he signed with the Lakers, the Lakers still made some moves this past offseason, including trading for Anthony Davis, almost getting Kawhi Leonard, and signing some good role players like Danny Green, Quinn Cook, and Dwight Howard for depth. But in the 2018 offseason, there were rumors that if the Warriors offered LeBron James a max contract and created enough space, LeBron would have listened and thought about it. Yes, LeBron thought about joining one of the best super teams in NBA history. LeBron joining the Warriors would be absolutely ridiculous and create the most super of all super teams in NBA history. Out of respect for the Warriors winning culture, James will have listened if Golden State explored ways to clear the necessary cap space. This meant that Durant, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and even Draymond Green had to take pay cuts. LeBron James was expected to decline his $35.6 million player option and become an unrestricted free agent for the third time in his career. Career. Although re-signing with Cleveland is not out of the question, a signing trade scenario will have been the most realistic way for Golden State to acquire James. In order for this move to even work financially, the Warriors will have to work a signing trade with the Cavaliers. The Warriors will have built an offer around Klay Thompson and Andre Iguodala to match salaries and tempt the Cavaliers into making a deal. To make a signing trade possible, Golden State also will need Durant to decline his player option and take even less money than his current annual salary of. $25 million, in addition to moving Sean Livingston's salary for a team with cap space. Golden State probably will have filled out its bench with players making the late minimum. Sure, James could be worth it for the Warriors. He's arguably the best player in the NBA, but that was a lot of shakeup for a team that was already the class of the league. Why do the Warriors need James when teams are building roster to match them already? Plus, James was 33 years old at the time, older than all of the members of the Golden State Warriors core. There's also the other side of this. What would it mean for James? James' legacy, something he's very protective of, to join his rival for a chance and another ring or two. In his past two free agency decisions, James joined a team where he could be viewed as the difference maker to them winning the title. That wouldn't be the case in Golden State. Will he really go to be another piece of Steph Curry's team? This move will have been terrible for competitiveness of the NBA. The NBA will be a wrap for the next few seasons, with Kevin Durant joining the Warriors three offseasons ago and LeBron joining the super team on the Heat almost a decade ago. There were chances that this could actually happen. James missed his chance with Golden State wanting to get a meeting with him in 2014, when James chose to come back to Cleveland. LeBron probably values his personal brand and legacy highly enough to not consider a move to the Warriors. But in the pursuit of Jordan's six rings, anything was possible. Thankfully for the rest of the NBA, the odds of James shooting the Warriors were slim to none, as Golden State will need to do a lot of contract moving to make things work, and that will include trading away or letting go some of their court that's been there since 2015. LeBron ended up signing a max contract with the Los Angeles Lakers while looking to bring them a title, and that concludes the video. What would you do if LeBron James signed with the Warriors? How many rings do you think LeBron will have won with the Warriors? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for the bell, get the bell to get notified of my future videos. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.